My friends, Lost Media is a truly fascinating realm in which numerous reputable people can testify that a work once existed, however the work is no longer viewable or has been lost or destroyed. Speedrunning is a field rife with lost media, as early speedrunners had no idea that speedrunning would grow so much to the point their foundational records would later be discussed and analyzed as significant pieces of history. And unlike a movie studio or radio station, your average speedrunner has no protocols in place for storing and preserving their videos. As such, numerous early speedrun world records were performed and uploaded to the nascent internet, but alas, these videos have long been lost or corrupted. In this video, we will be sharing a true story, taking a deep dive into perhaps the most significant of all lost media speedruns in the game GoldenEye 007. Indeed, this is the story of Mark Rutsu's Caverns Agent 101. But before we get to that story, it's time to talk about the sponsor for this video, Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallets are super cool with the thumb lever fanning out your cards so you can easily see and access whichever card you need when going to pay. The cards fit in nice and tight so you can be sure they won't fall out and only come out when you hit the thumb lever, even if the wallet is upside down. Phantom Wallets have dozens of customizable options they come in three sizes, depending on how many cards you usually carry. This one is my Phantom S, one of the more simple ones in black with a gold money clip on the front. And there are just so many colors and designs and finishes to choose from for the wallet and clip. And check this out. Phantom is releasing their brand new Phantom C wallet, which is compatible with the iPhone 12's MagSafe technology. So you can just sleekly throw your wallet and phone together in your pocket and not have to worry about fumbling around with your stuff. You can play around with all sorts of builds and options on their website, so check them out down in the link below and use my coupon code STAYTRUE for 10% off. Thanks again to Phantom Wallets for sponsoring this video, and now on to the rest of our story. On July 3rd, 2011, speedrunner Mark Rutsu achieved Caverns Agent 101, a new untied world record, breaking the Tide 102, which was shared by eight others, and had stood since the year 2007. And before we go any further, I do need to mention the Rutsu Vision disclaimer. This video will contain really terrible video footage, rolling VHS static that can look somewhat like a flashing screen. I won't show it full screen and will dim the footage, but there's your warning if you have any photo sensitivity concerns. All right. So after achieving the record, Mark uploaded a video of this run to YouTube, as you do, and many people in the community watched the run. Mark had this to say about his new record. Three boosts, flawless strafing except a small 0.1 second stuck, if even that, near the drone, very sweet ending warp, took about 13 to 15 hours, had around 40 102s. The video you're seeing now is not that run, but it is Mark playing caverns from that era, and looks similar to what his run might have looked like. A few people commented on the bad video quality, but this was somewhat expected from Mark at that time, and so that was that. The time passed the moderator's proof call and was accepted onto the rankings as a brand new untied world record. However, less than four years later, despite thousands of people having watched the original speedrun on YouTube, leaving comments and discussing its legacy, the video would vanish from the internet forever. Truly lost media. So how did this all happen? In order to understand the chain of events that led to Mark's Caverns Agent 101 becoming lost media, we need to examine the progression of his recording methods through time and the resulting quality of videos he would produce. So when Mark began speedrunning in early 2009, this is what his videos looked like. He was recording PAL footage on a PAL VCR, 
rewinding and playing back any successful runs, and recording those with a webcam or cell phone camera. A very standard and perfectly acceptable way to record your footage, especially when you're just starting out, and even more so back in the year 2009. Improvable, sure, but absolutely nothing wrong with this when you're just getting your feet wet in the world of speedrunning. At some point in mid-2009, once Mark began showing a lot of promise, he wanted to upgrade his video quality. He began using a PAL DVD recorder he had in the house to cleanly record footage of his speedruns, like this one, Aztec Agent 130, his first untied world record when it was set in August 2009. But it would all change in early 2010 when Mark would begin playing on NTSC, the North American version of the game. Running in 60Hz rather than PAL's 50Hz, NTSC is in general less laggy on most levels in the game. Now this doesn't matter much for a beginner, but at this point, Mark had been rising up the rankings, setting insane records, and needed NTSC to eke out those extra frames on stages where PAL was disadvantaged. But here's the problem. Back in 2010, before things like RetroTINK and automatic recording options in OBS or XSplit existed, it was actually really hard to get a clean NTSC signal on a PAL recording device. His PAL DVD recorder wouldn't work with the NTSC signal. Alas, Mark would play NTSC GoldenEye through an N64 converter on a PAL console, recording the 60 hertz 30 frames per second gameplay on a 50 hertz 25 frames per second PAL VCR. It might not have helped that his VHS tapes weren't of the highest quality or the most high fidelity, and may have had some dirt or age on them. This is what his footage looked like. There are actual frames of footage that get dropped from the recording, and this definitely wouldn't pass proof standards today. But at the time, that was life. And so these times were accepted on the GoldenEye rankings without really much of a second thought. Mark's original Caverns Agent 101 was listed on a proof call from July 2011 and accepted as proven to the rankings. Basically, everyone, including Mark himself, wished there were a better way for Mark to record his footage, but there were no easy solutions at this point in time. And on top of this, this era, 2010 and 11, is an era where Mark set some of his most insane, most incredible world records. Damn Double O Agent 155, the longest standing untied in the game's history. Damn Secret Agent 116, still a very uncommon record today after more than 10 years. And the subject of this video, Caverns Agent 101, also still the record today after nearly 10 years. By 2012, the Twitch era would come, and Mark would acquire another capture card, being able to record decent video footage once again. On October 9th, 2012, Mark would improve his very worst stage, Depot Double Agent, to 51 seconds. This run isn't remarkable at all, other than his stream layout showing a picture he took, a selfie with him in front of the end screen on his Caverns Agent 101. This is just another key fragment remaining of that record that, as we'll find out, was truly lost in every other way. Around this time, Mark would often duplicate some of his old personal records, uploading better quality proof and deleting the old, worse quality video. Not really a big deal since he's proving he got the times regardless, but this did result in tons of original personal best videos dissolving away into the ether truly lost media, with no hope of being reclaimed. Especially since Mark wasn't a particularly careful file hoarder with duplicate files across multiple computers over time. Interestingly, however, his very best records, like those damn times in Caverns 101, were not duplicated, nor deleted, Mark leaving these videos available, knowing how good the records were and how significant those videos were to the game's history. In June 2014, another champion speedrunner and community member, Perfect Ace, was going through Mark's old videos on YouTube, re-watching his runs to see if he did anything slightly more optimal, trying to pick up any valuable knowledge from these videos, just as a fellow competitor would do. 
Ace actually tried downloading some of Mark's videos, just in case, or to be able to rewatch them if he were offline. Now, one can imagine, when downloading a ton of speedrun videos, you often forget what you have there, sitting in some dusty corner of your hard drives. Ace had hundreds of speedruns downloaded this way, so it's not like he remembered specifically that he had this run, Caverns Agent 101, saved on his hard drive. Now here's where things get a little crazy, and what led to the original Caverns Agent 101 getting lost. So over the course of the previous few years, numerous community members would begin and then abandon the project of archiving and upkeeping a living YouTube channel where all the world record videos were readily viewable. This was in part due to knowledge of past incidents where speedrunners would remove their videos for one reason or another, and just good practice for historical keepsake. Mark's damn times, still untied, were uploaded in this way. However, his Caverns Agent 101 was not. This record had been tied only days after being originally set by True Faith, and his video was in better quality. So when going through the game's 60 records and uploading one video per stage, the run of True Faith was always used for this purpose instead. Had True Faith waited a few years to tie Mark's Caverns 101, chances are much higher that Mark's run would have been archived at some point. Through the year 2014, two more players, Perfect Ace and Luke Sklars, would also tie the record with 101. But that's not all, of course, and here's where I get involved into the story. And I do need to present this next segment with the disclaimer, yes, this is about a silly spat where things got way too unnecessarily heated and rash decisions were made, this happens in literally every speedrun or gaming community, probably every niche hobby community to some extent. The GoldenEye speedrunning community is simply perhaps a bit more open about sharing these past misdeeds and the lessons learned from this history. So yes, this bit of the story may sound immature and silly and stupid, and it probably is, but this all took place more than six years ago, and the important thing is that lessons were indeed learned. So, on January 14, 2015, I made a thread calling into question another dubious speedrun, Damn Agent 53 by Dan B. Now in some way, I was admittedly just looking to stir up some drama or controversy to stave off boredom. But in another way, I did truly believe that this time was an injustice to the rankings. You see, the original Dan 53 was set in September 2002 by Big Boss Man, and had gone on to become one of the most historically significant records in the game. Dan was the first person to tie Dan 53 in the year 2003, but there was never any video produced. Rather, the time was accepted as proven based on Dan's body of work in the game. Namely, numerous videos of Dan 54, with 53 shown as the best time on the end screen, and some other uncommon world records for that era. No one would provably tie 53 until Illu did so in November 2004. Now, in my mind, given the historical significance of Boss's Dan 53, I viewed it as having legitimately stood for over two years, September 02 to Illu's 53 in November 04. And I viewed this alleged 53 by Dan only a few months after Boss got the time as unfair to Boss, an injustice on the rankings. Boss's 53 deserved to be credited with more time untied in the historic record. And so this thread reignited conversation on whether or not Dan's 53 should be removed. It was eventually removed, by the way, though that's not the point. And as you'll see, this could be a case of the cure being worse than the disease. In that thread, Mark made a post sharing his thoughts, and unbelievably, Dan himself appeared and responded to Mark. This was very unexpected, as Dan hadn't really been around the community much for the previous decade. Mark and Dan got into a small flame war, and, well, the whole thread was basically a dumpster fire. Further to this, another lesser-known community member, Shadow, appeared in the thread, 
making a post about how, if we were to begin retroactively monitoring the rankings, effectively overriding decisions made by previous proof moderators and admin, in order to bring the rankings in line with modern proof standards, then not only would Dan B's Dan53 have to be removed, but so would many other records. Namely, a number of records of Mark Rutsu. This was of course because proof standards had been raised in the past few years to handle the influx of new players discovering speedrunning for the first time thanks to live streams on Twitch.tv. On January 17, 2015, so three days after the forum thread was created, and in response to all the ongoing chaos, there's no other way to put it but Mark basically snapped. He began deleting his old bad quality videos and removing many of his records from the world rankings, including his Caverns Agent 101. Some of the videos he deleted did have duplicates online, so nothing was lost there, but one notable video that did not have any duplicate was indeed his Caverns Agent 101. Things would naturally begin to cool down, and the proof moderators would slowly get around to the task of reposting the times from Mark, which did still have videos floating around online. This was around a dozen or so total records, and obviously not a task anyone is thrilled to undertake. Most people were just focused on moving forward, but over the next year and a half, people would slowly begin to notice that, hey, one of the records that never got reposted was Mark's Caverns Agent 101. One more player, Wotus, would tie the time in 2015, becoming the fifth person to score the records, but on the rankings without Mark, it showed him as one of four players to do so. Would the video of Mark's Caverns 101 ever be found? Now, here's the incredible twist to this story. Remember how in June 2014, Perfect Ace randomly decided to download Mark's videos from YouTube? Well, on October 1, 2016, Ace remembered that he had done this. He checked his downloads folder, noticed that, yep, he did indeed download Mark's Caverns Agent 101 video. He went to open the video file and, well, here's the entirety of the footage he downloaded that day. Thirty-four seconds of basically nothing. The vid cuts off before the run even begins. Ace recalls that he was having internet issues that summer, and the video download failed, having pulled down only half the run. This explains why in Ace's downloads folder we can see he attempted to download it twice, but it failed both times. That's right, we were this close to having saved the lost media, but Ace's internet issues left us with only this remnant 34 seconds of screen flickering before Mark was about to hit replay on his VCR and show us the run. It's really insane, agonizingly close to having video footage of this historic speedrun, but alas, numerous cosmic factors all came together in such a way that the run no longer exists. July 3rd, 2011 to January 17, 2015. That's how long we had for anyone to simply download Mark's Caverns Agent 101 video and have a copy to themselves, but no one got around to doing it. And as a result, this speedrun, the first ever completion of Caverns Agent in one minute, one second, is truly lost forever. Out there in the ether, never able to be found. On June 3rd, 2018, in the stream of another GoldenEye speedrunner, Salty, we can hear that he's watching the stream of Mark Rutsu, in which Mark is actually talking about his own Caverns Agent 101. Yeah, I have Caverns A. Uh, I 
I got it untied you ages ago. No video not any longer. I believe it's a video. It's untied. Yep. It didn't get taken down. None of my videos got taken down. And none of my times got taken down. I took it, the video down. Oh yeah, you're right Tom. The video did get taken down, but it's by me. It's just as some people say that the time got taken down, but it's not true. Well, the time did get taken down after I released the video. It's kind of amazing that we don't have the original 101 saved, yet someone was able to clip and re-upload this short highlight of Mark discussing the time from someone else's stream. A few months later, the story would come, mostly, full circle. Mark eventually duplicated Cavern's Agent 101, and fairly easily at that, in February 2019, after only about an hour and a half of play finally creating living proof that he had indeed achieved the time. Are you kidding me dude? Back boost? I got the flop. Oh! <laughs> What's up then? Back boost is my boots up. In fact, now that 32 people have tied the record, Mark has been trying to improve it to one minute, and he's come pretty close, having since duplicated 101 numerous times. So all is well that ends well. But for folks who watched Mark's original 101, this speedrun exists only in fragments of our imagination, and a picture and a few seconds of footage. We saw it ages ago, but now it's lost forever. And on April 10th, 2021, speedrun historian and archivist Joris Cuvedo would make a thread detailing everything and more covered in this video. So a big thanks to him on researching and compiling the history shared here. So there's the story of GoldenEye speedrunning's most infamous lost media, Mark Rutsu's original Caverns Agent 101. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like, and hopefully your mouse click doesn't become lost media on its way to the like button. If you'd like to see more videos about lost media and speedrunning, let me know in the comments, because there are even more stories out there, and they are topics I enjoy making, since they're truly fascinating to me. And let me know what your favorite piece of speedrunning or gaming lost media is, since I know there's a ton of stories out there. And if you enjoy videos like this one about remarkable tales from gaming history and folklore, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a new video. With that, thanks for watching my friends, stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.